everyone. I'm Molly Wood, and welcome to the CNET Mailbag, the show that's brought to you on the internet for free, like all the other shows and content we deliver, because we are very occasionally able to sell advertisements to companies who would like to reach you with their marketing messages. And we haven't been able to sell quite as many ads as we'd like to as of late, because maybe you've heard of a little thing called a global recession, and it's made us all a little bit worried about our jobs. But every so often, we do manage to sell some ads, and then we can continue to deliver the free content that we think is high quality to you. So if maybe you could ease up a little bit on the bitching about the ads, I think we would all be grateful. Okay? Just check Facebook while they're on or something. It's not going to kill you. <sighs> oh, and as long as you're hating on us, Ethan says, when is there going to be a better CNET blog for Kindle? They're all stupid. Please create a new one. Maybe about new tech products? Ethan. Oh, a smiley face. How nice. Actually, I didn't even know we had Kindle blogs, but now I do, which means that I can see how they got there and then how we might be able to get more up there that you don't think are so stupid. Okay, moving on, Bill emails in about some of the other things that make our job hard sometimes. He says, who's the comedian who made Dome No Say Netgear WNDR 3700 Range Max Dual Band Wireless and Gigabit Router? You people are vicious. <laughs> yeah. I think the really vicious ones are the folks over at Netgear, Bill. And I agree. And also, good job, Dome. I have with me today the router that so many of you have emailed me to ask about in the last couple of months. The Netgear Range Mic Dual Band Wireless and Gigabit Router, WNDR3700. And I hope you're happy with the name, as it took me quite a while to learn how to say it that smoothly. Okay, let's do a little lover mail, shall we? Lover mail. Justin from Irvine writes, Hey Molly, I wanted to send a quick thank you to Jason Howell for his excellent work exposing me to the various CNET podcasts. Podcast Central is very well put together. I can navigate between different shows with easy and find exactly what I want, whether audio, video, or HD. I know from conversations on BOL that he's constantly working to make my experience with CNET shows better, and he is doing a noteworthy job. So thank you, Jason, for your hard work. I agree, Justin. And Jason worked long and hard to coordinate that blog redesign, and our design team made it look so good. And Jason is indeed constantly working to make things better. So for all the people who said, Molly, how do I subscribe to an RSS feed for CNET Conversations? I can't find it at podcast.cnet.com. I know. Jason's working on it, and it will be available as a podcast soon. And I hope you caught our latest episode where Ina Fried and I interviewed Steve Ballmer. You can, in case you're able or willing to visit websites, find it at cnet.com slash conversations. And finally, a lover mail threefer just because I feel like it and I appreciated it. Leonard says, I've been a loyal watcher of your CNET TV show during my lunch hours for the past year or so. I really enjoy all of your programs, however, today especially so. The three reports that got me to write this are today's, 92309, Buzz Report, How To, and Loaded. I genuinely appreciate Molly's honesty with her displeasure, and pleasure in other cases, at the telecoms. I second that emotion. Today's how-to also was especially beneficial, as I've always been frustrated with FN transmitters and will now be installing a modulator for my sister's truck. And last but not least, the buzz report is always engaging and entertaining, and I liked hearing about Google's further intrusion into the internet. As a stockholder, I appreciate them growing, but that one's a little scary. I'm actually pretty sure he meant loaded in that last part. But thank you, Leonard. I appreciate it a lot, and I hope the ads didn't drive you crazy. Also, to Ian in the UK, who sent me a camera script for a Top Gear episode. Holy crap! Thank you. I love this. And that's it for this week, everyone. Keep the feedback and questions coming. Email me at mailbag at cnet.com or send your snail mail to 235 Second Street, San Francisco, California, 94105. Thank you for watching. <laughs>